Hey, Aaron Rabinowitz here. Did you know you could use any 3D mesh as a light source in Cinema 4D? Let me show you how. So I've got a sphere here and I'm going to be using that as my light source. So what I'll do is I'll add in an area light. And of course that changes the lighting of the scene but not in a way we want. And with the area light selected, I'm going to go into the object tab right here. And you'll see that there's the option for the area shape and I'm going to change that from rectangle to mesh. And once I've done that, I can drag my sphere right into the mesh area and now the sphere becomes a light. Now, if you have multiple objects and you want to make them into a light, well, it's a little more complicated. Let me just select my sphere, and what I'll do is I'm going to Alt-click on this cloner, and it's going to create a whole bunch of spheres. That will instantly kind of remove the sphere from the area light because it can no longer find it. So I'll leave this cloner as it is, but what I'll do is I'll hit C to convert it into an editable object, and then what we can see is that we have lots of multiple objects. I want to combine these all into one, so I'll choose Object, connect objects and delete. That turns it into a single object. I'll come back to my area light right here and for the mesh I'll just grab hold of this cloner and drop it right into the mesh area. And now I've got these lights. Now something I want to point out is that if I grab hold of these cloner lights right here and I bring them up we can see that you know we're getting nice even lighting but the second we put them into the floor what's happening is that we're getting these dark spots where the light is not being cast because it's not casting the light inwardly so what you can do is head on over to the area light settings right here going to the area at the bottom where it says bi-directional turn that on that will make the lights show inside of the sphere and you can also even make them visible if you wanted to have the globes of light visible right there by the way, the materials you're seeing here, the glass, the wood, it's all from the pixellab.net. They've got a nice collection of Redshift materials. And also the window itself comes from Cinema 4D's browser where you have objects. I just typed in window and was able to find one and just drop it right in. As always, thanks for watching. Once again, I'm Aaron Rabinowitz. I'll see you soon.